Hello learners, welcome back to Ahmed Coaching and I am Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about the structure of a virus. The virus word actually originated from the Latin word venom which means poisonous. Actually a virus is a non-cellular infectious agent which contains DNA or RNA in a protein coat. Non-cellular means that it is not considered as a cellular organism or an organism which contains a cell. It is an infectious agent that if it will enter into a living organism, it will definitely cause a disease. And in case of genome, it contains DNA or RNA. Now the major thing for the virus is that it cannot replicate without a living host. It means if virus wants to convert from 1 to 2 or 2 to 4 or 4 to 8, it requires a living host. If a living host is absent, virus cannot replicate. A virus is smaller in size as compared to bacterium and under the microscope or simple microscope you cannot see virus. If you want to observe virus, you need to see or need to observe virus under an electronic microscope. Now talking about the structure of a virus, here you can see the diagram of a simple virus. This part here, this is genome. Genome is the central part of a virus and it consists of DNA or RNA. Now the genome contains information about the viral proteins. We know that DNA is responsible for the synthesis of protein. Now the DNA which is present in the virus, it is going to produce the proteins which are specifically viral proteins. The second part of the virus structure is the second part of the virus is nucleocapsid. Now nucleocapsid means nucleic acid plus capsid. Capsid is actually the outer boundary and nucleic acid is the DNA. So it is called nucleocapsid. The nucleocapsid it is made up of protein or it is a protein coat. The purpose of this nucleocapsid is to provide a particular shape or definite shape to the virus. Here you can see it is a definite shape. The capsid is made up of capsomeres. The capsomeres are the protein units which combine together to form the capsid. The number of capsomeres in a capsid is very important or very specific. It means a particular virus can be identified from other type of virus on the basis of capsomeres numbers present in a capsid. The other part of virus structure is envelope. The envelope is actually the outer covering which is present outside. The envelope is actually achieved or taken up from the host cell membrane. It means that envelope is actually the host cell membrane which virus has taken to protect its nucleocapsid. If a virus doesn't contain any envelope then that virus is known as naked virus. The purpose of this envelope is to protect genetic material as I have already told you that nucleocapsid it is protected by the envelope. The other structure is envelope protein here you can see the spikes like part here. These envelope proteins they are made up of glycoproteins. The purpose of these envelope proteins is the identification and binding to the receptors of the host cell membrane. It is uh, going to check the structure. Let me help you. The envelope proteins, they are actually going to identify the receptors on the host cell membrane. And then with the help of these envelope proteins, the virus is going to land on that cell membrane. Other function of envelope protein is that it is going to protect the virus from immune system of the host. The last part is enzymes. Inside the virus, enzymes they are present. Specifically the RNA viruses, they encode enzymes. Why they encode enzymes? Because they need to convert their RNA into DNA. We know that RNA is a single structure. 
and it needs to be converted into DNA which is a double or stable structure for this purpose the RNA it is going to produce RNA polymerase this RNA polymerase will convert this RNA into DNA now the disadvantage here is that this RNA polymerase it makes a lot of errors as compared to DNA polymerase because of this reason the mutation rate in viruses is very high this is the reason that curing or developing a medicine for viruses is very difficult because if we make a medicine for one type of virus in the next generation its DNA it will be changed and that medicine cannot affect on the next type of virus some characteristics of viruses are they are very small in size from 250 nanometer to 20 nanometer as we said they cannot be seen under the simple microscope as compared to bacteria they are 10 to 100 times smaller and they require living host and they cannot be grown on the artificial media the viruses they can pass through the filter the filter which are used in the laboratories to purify some solutions bacteria they cannot pass through the filters but viruses they can easily pass through the filters the viruses they lack metabolic machinery the metabolic machinery is important for the synthesis of protein and nucleic acid and this is the reason the lack of metabolic machinery that viruses they require host because they are going to use host metabolic machinery for the synthesis of protein and nucleic acid the viruses they cause disease whenever they are going to gain entry inside the host cell they are resistant to antibiotic such as streptomycin and penicillin and viruses they can be found in many shapes for example helical polyhydron or envelope so that was all about the structure of viruses and their characteristics if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also share the video with your friends i will see you in the next video